is Dylan, and he has quite the heartbreaking story. When he arrived at our Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital, his tail was wagging, which surprised us, considering what he had been through. His owner, unfortunately, used bailing wire to tie him out in the yard and then found Dylan lying um, with the wire so tight around his neck is actually embedded in his neck, causing a horrible infection. Seriously, it was one of the most horrible sights you'd ever see. But Lisa, thanks to the special surgery to remove the bailing wire and a, a bit of recovery time, Dylan is now healed and ready for a better life. He sure is, and he is just one of the 770 pets that the Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital treated last week. That's more than 110 pets a day. Could you imagine your vet's office being that busy? And when they come in in shape like Dylan, you know, it requires a lot of attention. But I will tell you, he is just the sweetest boy. When he came in, despite his bailing wire in his neck, he came in wagging and happy for the help. It's a really rewarding experience to volunteer in an area such as that. So Dylan is ready for onward and upward. He is ready for a hiking partner, somebody who wants to play with him in the backyard, throw a ball. He likes cushy dog beds and is very fond of human attention. Always a smile and a tail wag from Dylan. So if you're looking for a six-year-old, 54 pound, looks just like a German Shepherd, but always has a smile, come down and meet Dylan. Oh, I love his wrinkly face. Thanks, Lisa. Our emergency 